so as you know, we have two visitor centers, one at the plaza, one is south of Yonsa Winery. We have email, social media, TikTok, text us. People ask us questions, okay? Yeah. And we have to answer them. But yeah. today, you're going to be working for the visitor center. Perfect. And you're going to help answer it. We have decided to call this section of the podcast, We, we get, get, get Questions. questions. Perfect. So original. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the winemakers podcast. And well, now you haven't seen you. you haven't seen these yet. Okay. You no, not, right? I no, no, we haven't so seen this them. is like it. But I will hand them out now so oh. you can look at them if you want. But that way, but you haven't seen oh, them until you, you walk in the door. Them. Yeah, I'll just read them. Okay, good. Ready? I bet I say. These are ones <laughs> that came in. So ready? We are visiting from Orlando. Okay. okay. I don't like red wines. Okay. Do any of the wineries have sweeter white wines? And do wineries usually have both red and white wines or just one or the other? So sweeter white question. wines. And then also do, do wineries just have reds or do wineries have whites or both? And how does that work? I can answer the second part of it if you want to take the first one. Sure. I'll start with the second part of Let's it. Let's go for it. So the important thing to remember is, of course, what you like is, you know, looking into all of the wineries, um, but not just stopping at what the first thing you see is if you like white wine and all you see are cabs or pinots you should definitely call them and do some more digging you can talk to us talk to you but most wineries do have a variety of varietals so i would i would suggest not to ever just sit judge a book by its cover because most of them do so and most wineries will have red and white yes wine. Yeah. okay and it's also please open your 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 palate and try something new too because you never i i mean i didn't know i liked chardonnay mm -hmm. until a few years ago more than that but I, you know people judge that very harshly and unless you've you know, maybe had a really good one. You don't know what you're missing. Right. So I think it's opening your, your palate and, and being open to a, a new try. But yeah, most yeah. of them have different. Most of them have red yeah, and white wines. Available, yes. And be willing to go beyond be your willing. comfort zone. And especially in Sonoma, we're pretty relaxed. We're yeah. I mean, pretty I mean, relaxed. We're pretty nice people. We are pretty nice people. So. We are pretty welcoming. And um, we're glad you're coming from Orlando. Right. And, and, <laughs> and the other thing to remember is that um, wineries... Wine is, is an experiential, right? Yeah. Like you learn something every time you have a wine. So you just because you don't like red wine, as Laura said, try something, you know. And, and a good person working at the winery will, if you tell them I don't really like red wine or I haven't had it, they'll guide you through yeah. it. They're not going to give you something that's, right. you know, really massively large and hard or, to drink. Or like what you have here. You have a rosé. Right. Which is a, a touch of red yep. in the wine. Yep. Grenache. Yeah. A great entry-level yeah. type of right. wine. And Grenache is usually a red wine. Correct. Right? Right. So yeah. it's uh, a good way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, sweeter white wines. I've heard Sauternes. Sauternes. Sure. Sojourn. Um, Sojourn. You, you know, so, um, there's not there's not that much <laughs> yeah, sweet wine around yeah. anymore, <laughs> right? Um, but but wine is also just because it doesn't say it's sweet, right. or, you know, by the lab test may say it's dry, which means no sugar. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have an essence of sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, you know, alcohol is vis viscous mm -hmm. and it gives a roundness to the flavor. So a lot of times there are wines that are dry, but they have a sweetness like a sweet to it. Taste. Sometimes the fruit profile is sweet. Yeah. Um, uh, so again, open your mind and, and okay. try the wines. Okay. The great thing about a tasting is, is that it's just a little taste, and if you don't care for it, you can yeah. just pour it you out pour yeah. it and, no and ask them to try something no out. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Are there also like something called late harvest wines? Usually they're reds, but are there any white red harvests? Uh, uh, there are some okay. white late harvests, um, but yeah, you're right. Most of them are reds, you know, ports. Okay. Um, but, you know, it, it, if you think about when... Uh, when America was established, when California was established, where we were coming on the 200th anniversary, mm -hmm. you know, most of the wines that were being made and drunk at that time were sweet wines. Oh, interesting. Um, and okay. it was because they were higher alcohol, mm -hmm. and that would help preserve them right. and help them, you know, not go bad. Right. Um, so, okay. you know, when the Decor Declaration of Independence was signed, <laughs> they were drinking Sautern. Oh, interesting. Okay. 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 Very good. So. Well, so same, same question then is, where can I get white Merlot wine? And so a white Merlot would be a rosé. Okay. Um, and 
I would want to talk to the marketing department that decided <laughs> to call it white Merlot. You know, there was a, one winery had white Cabernet Blanc or Cab- you know white Cabernet before, yeah. and um, I, you listen, I'm a winemaker, I'm not yeah. a marketer, so maybe I should keep my no, mouth. So, that's not, that's well, not good marketing. It was funny because like white Merlot, I, and I looked it up. And, it, yeah. and it's usually in AVAs with more of a mass bulk. So places that aren't doing a lot of premium wines yeah. will do a white Merlot. And I think, because I, I sort of stared at her for a second, and, <laughs> she, and she mentioned a brand. I said, okay, that's a big mass market bottom shelf brand right. that they add sugar to things right. and, and magical stuff. Um, what I think of it is like upstate New York, um, I think there's some... Uh, m- Rosé of Merlot is right. what I would call it there, um, because they can grow Merlot there, right. and they want to have an entry level wine, so right. they make so it's usually, Rosé. So usually, when you hear like a white, and then a varietal white Zinfandel, white Merlot, you're right. actually looking at a wine that's been slightly changed or marketed in such a way to make it approachable for people who are not maybe who don't think they're wine drinkers. Yeah, um, I would and suggest a rosé of. Pinot Great. or a rosé of Grenache. Fantastic. You're <laughs> absolutely right. That's good. And so white, white Zinfandel is a way for people to move some Zinfandel back in the 80s. Uh, maybe white Merlot is a way for people to move stuff. Go get an actual Merlot. Go to Gun Bun, or, or if you make a Merlot, and get a really good Merlot. Yeah. Because yeah. you might really like it, and Merlots yeah. are quite good. Yeah. Um, don't believe the hype from the movie. Don't believe And, yeah. and Rex Pickett's oh, here gosh. tomorrow. Right. <laughs> That's funny. Or the show. There's been a couple since that Duh. movie. Duh. <laughs> okay, here's ready. Here's a good question. We have people text us questions. You got this one. What's the best place for pizza? Oh, that's in Sonoma. In Sonoma, I I don't I feel like I'm and best could be biased. Is subjective. Okay. And it, and it, and I asked the person where are you, and they said they were on the plaza. So I honestly. Go, whatever you want. I, I mean, I, I, I'm I afraid that if I don't say no. the right one, no. when I walk into the I other place, I'll get in trouble. I'm going to say it. I love Jacob's. I Jacob's. love Jacob's. On they have Broadway. a great gluten-free option. Okay. Mary's Pizza I grew up with. Mm. I love their their Mary's Salad. I love their breadsticks. No, come on. I don't part. love pepperoni. Their pe- the pepperoni. The pepperoni. They have the cup pepperoni. It catches I love the their, grease. I love right. their lunch slices. Right. I don't love their pies. From the slice shack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with the Swiss. Oh, like yeah. Well that, done. Those pizzas are so yeah. good from the Swiss yeah. Hotel. Did, oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. So those are good. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> I'm gonna give another option. Kristen, are you listening to that? <laughs> the red. <laughs> I I give the Swiss the enough Swiss business. <laughs> another one I'm gonna give you is the red grape. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Right next to La Prenda Tasting Room. Yep. Yes. Uh, so you can try some of their wines there. Good pizzas. A good place <laughs> to chill. Uh, and those are good places in Sonoma. Yes. Right? Of and, and Mary's, the original Mary's, is technically in the spring. Jacobs is something. right off the square. And too. Jacobs is right off the square right near Train Town. You can ride your bike because Hunt Bailey's uh, Sonoma Adventures bike mm-hmm. rental company is yeah. right next to it. Sure. And uh, you can work off some of that pizza. But I have an can I give bike. a can I give a <laughs> shout out to my hometown of Petaluma? I've yeah. heard of it. Pinky's Pizza. Pinky's, Pinky's Pizza. I've been of Been there it. forever. Is it downtown? Wait, is that yep. the one downtown? Yeah. Yep. Oh, like the two. Stri- is it two yeah. story? No, just one story. No, because that's a Chicago pizza. That's oh, one that yeah. also very good. Very that is good. good. But like Pinky's. Pinky's is quite. Let's good. be right honest. I'll eat any pizza though. <laughs> 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 this is a dumb question. The, the best place for pizza is whatever's right in front of you. Right, exactly. Eat it. Yeah. And actually, that brings up a good Sonoma Valley thing. There aren't a lot of bad restaurants here because they don't survive. Right. Uh, and we have a good, you know, yeah. chefs and, and winemakers talking to each other. Okay. You ready for this one? Yeah. You just mentioned something. So I'm looking for a good place to ride bikes. Any Ooh, ideas? Anywhere and everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a bike path, we of do. course. Mm-hmm. A lovely bike path um, that takes you basically throughout the whole the whole span of the city right. and you can make stops along the way. Okay. Um, you can go up uh, what would be where Gun Bun is and all of that. Yep. Yeah, there's a couple of classic loops yeah. in Sonoma yeah. mm-hmm. and they all can all be done from the plaza. Okay. You know, one is um, going out Level Valley to Thornsbury, okay. going in the back gate of Gunlock Bunchu. And then this is the most cinema thing ever. Like you feel like you're trespassing, but everyone walks through this gate right. that goes through a neighborhood right. that cuts through like this little weird yeah. path. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, no, this is allowed. This yeah. is part yeah. of it. So, okay. And if you want something a little more ambitious, of course you can keep going up level Valley and do mm-hmm. level Valley loop, okay. which, um, you know, it's a, it's a good climb up and great views. Beautiful. Uh, and that's good for cyclists down. who might have a little more gears yeah. or, or an e-bike. An e-bike. Or an e-bike. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Love it. And then another ride that's uh, maybe from the plaza a little bit longer, but not, not necessarily as challenging is riding up to Glen Ellen, stay mm-hmm. off highway 12, but go up yeah. Arnold drive Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. and then doing that Dunbar loop. 
yeah. um, Dunbar to Heno, okay. uh, and then come yeah. back the same way, you okay. know, and, and spectacular Which, views yeah. and, and not terribly busy roads. Right. And okay. honestly, with anyone visiting Sonoma, going on that side, maybe not always by bike, but I don't ever want that side to be forgotten because it that those views never get old. Right. And it's that beautiful. drive on, you know, up towards Kenwood and mm-hmm. past there is it the it's stunning. Sometimes so. I'll come into work that way because I live up by Santa Rosa. I'll come in, yeah. I come in back way. I love it. And it's we have so great wineries over there. Yeah. And it's not a, it, do not okay. miss that. But the answer is you said e-bike. I just, I, don't, I didn't you say just got e-bike. One. No, I just have no, one No, e-bikes now, are amazing. And I love them. But uh, Bart, you just Bart's did the, you just did the ending hunger chef cycle. <laughs> And you have an, uh, 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 like a road bike. I, yeah, I have, a, I have a handful of bikes. It shows so, all of yeah, our differences. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love that. that you ride bikes and, and do all sorts of stuff like that. Tell me about this Chef Cycle real quick. What was that? Uh, Chef Cycle is a, and a great event, and I found out about it because they, they rolled through Sonoma Valley one time. Um, chefs from all – so it's, uh, the organization is No Kid Hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, Chef Cycle is an event that's put on to support No Kid Hungry. Okay. Um, last year, there were 100 chefs that came from all over the United States and a few from Canada. They come here to they Sonoma. They come here to Sonoma. Sonoma Valley, Sonoma County. Okay. And uh, we, it's based out of Santa Rosa at the Flamingo. Okay. And we rode 300 miles in three days. You're bonkers. So, Are your knees still um, recovering? Your back still no, recovering? No, I'm actually f- pretty good. You're good. Um, you ride bikes a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it was in May this May. year. Yeah. Um, and so this just year recovering. we raised just about... <laughs> It only took me two and a half months. <laughs> this year we raised um, close to a million dollars. What? What? Um, Just all, that one ride? Yeah. It's amazing. Um, and, amazing. And so okay. we, uh, and all that money goes to feeding kids. Right. It's great. So. Um, and there are actual chefs. Uh, um, world famous chefs. On their bicycles. Come for this. Yeah. The first year I did it, there were 300 riders from all over the United States. Um, and we raised uh, two and a half million dollars. Wow. And, and all the money goes strictly to buying food to for, um, no kids for feeding kids. That's great. Okay. So throughout the country. Throughout the country. Wow. It's okay. an amazing organization. And, yeah. and, and for those watching this on YouTube, uh, you're wearing the shirt right yeah. there on the podcast. He's wearing a shirt. And it says, Ending <laughs> Hunger, <laughs> Chef Cycle 2023. Uh, okay, that's good. Final question. Are you guys ready? You're at the visitor center. You're working at the front cart. You're my volunteers. Yeah. Someone comes up and they ask, are there any wineries or restaurants open on Thanksgiving Day or the Friday after? My soon-to-be husband and I can't find much time off work, so we'll need to go that weekend. Great weekend to come. Yeah. One of my favorite weekends. Okay. Most Why? places are open. Um, right. Definitely Friday after. That's a right. huge day. Make, you know, if you want a specific reservation, make it soon. But right. uh, most take walk-ins. Right. I would say on Thanksgiving Day, places like Wit & Wisdom. Um, I think Swiss is even possibly open. Yeah, um, I think the... Girl in the Fair, Fig does yeah. it. The Fairmont's, Fairmont's open. open. Fairmont's open. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, Layla, but uh, I mean, most places will be open, but make your reservation. Friday, definitely. It's a good bustling time to be here. The Very weather's popular. usually nice. And uh, it's just fall a fun, colors are still yeah, fall very colors much are very much here. Yeah, because yeah, you guys have gone out and painted all the vineyards, right? right? With the yeah. Red. Exactly. yeah. Good job. Good yeah. Job. I'm okay. just imagining it- like a. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna make a joke, but it was maybe too close with the fires. Not yeah, no, fire. yeah. I feel like we're <laughs> so we so we it's a it's a beautiful time to come visit. Yes, and uh, we do have a list on our website of restaurants and wineries open yeah. on Thanksgiving and the day after. Get, take your um, time off work with your new husband. You and come should. Out. Yeah. Come on, new yeah. husband. I mean, That's I important. always say that. Fall is the best time, and yeah. it is. and I think people should birthday. come during harvest. <laughs> you do, um, yeah, because what are you like press gang them into working? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, no, it's you know just what? Beautiful. The weather's perfect. Right. People are out. I, at Benziger, we had thousands of people come through yeah. right. the, the tours yeah. during harvest, yeah. and we'd get them in there. We'd yeah. get their hands dirty, and you know what? You blow people's minds. Yeah. Because um, pe- you have the winemakers there, you right. have you, everyone you, there. You, the aromatics, yeah, the, you smell the it. Colors, smell the must in the smell. air. Uh, Chris Locks never at Locks Winery does a, a crush pad tour yep. whenever he's doing it. A lot of wineries do that. Yep. Sometimes they'll just take you around and you can see the yeah. crush pad and how it works. And it's that's how time. Sonoma right. is too. You okay. have access to all of that. It's right there. We we're so much more like ca- not casual, but it's it's more intimate. Right. And um, I think it can create more of a special. There might be a winemaker on the bike right next to you. There might right. be. You never know. Yeah. Right. With some, and with I'll some just speed by him on my e bike. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and he's like, I've got Rose. <laughs> with her, with, her, with her, her bell going. 
Oh. I don't. I need a bell. Jo- you don't have a bell. I need a bell. Go over to Wine Country Cyclery. No, Wine Country Cyclery. I bought my bell there. For okay. My bike. I have a bike at the office that I only ride my bike around town. So yeah. I park my my car when I come to work, and then I ride the bike because yeah. everything yeah. in this town is only like a mile and a half from yeah. each other. So Great. when I go get lunch or I have a meeting, it's a lot quicker. Yeah. So I I tell people to bring a bike. Yeah. 